Good morning, children. So, welcome everyone in our online class. And today, I'll be starting chapter three. So, chapter three is about word processor, that's tabular representations. First of all, few things I want to highlight. That's what is word processor. Word processor is an application. It's an application software, which almost everyone needs. If you have computer, smartphones, you need that uh, this word processor. For typing, you need to type stories, type letters, type applications, or anything if you need to type, you need a word processor. That is important. So, word processor is not only used for typing also, but also it is used for formatting and editing. It can decorate the text entered. Whatever we type, it can be decorated. It can be uh, looked attractive. So, these features are also available in word processor. So children, uh, in this chapter, we are going to learn about tabular representation. So table. So tabular representation is actually a table. So we can create a table in Microsoft Word. See how. So suppose this is a table. Like this. Okay, children. Now, see here. Here, this part, like this one, two, three, four. Here, A, B. So, children, this number one, two, three, four. These are known as row. So, how many row is there? Three row in this table. And A, B are known as column. So, how many columns are there in this table? There are two columns and four row. And children, this part, this, the intersection of row and column. Intersection where row and column meets. That name is A1. So same way I can write A2, A3, A4, B1, B2, B3, B4. So children, these are known as cell. So total how many cell are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You can see from the diagram also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So total there are 8 cell in this table. And it, this table has how many row? 4 row and how many column? 2 columns. So children, what exactly um, is the use of this table? So table uses what? We can enter the text. We can enter the numbers. We can even enter the images also. We can highlight, we can color, we can decorate it. So multiple operations like whatever we type uh, related to typing only. So that can be done in this table. So in this chapter, first we need to know how to create the table. So few things that's very important which we should know how to create the table. So once you have created second part, you should know how to add the row. Maybe you need some more row. You can add it. Okay. Maybe you need some more column. You can add it. Okay, addition of row and columns. Or maybe sometime there is an addition, uh, extra row or extra column. You can know how to delete also. Okay, you should know how to delete. That means, children, we should learn about how to create, then add and delete. So, children, these three things are very important. So, first, we should know how to create the table, how to add row as well as columns and how to delete a row as well as columns. So children, see in this video, I'll be showing you um, by doing this means graphically, you can see how the tables are created, how the rows are added and how the uh, rows or columns are deleted when not required. Okay, children. So see this. So children, See here how to create a table in Microsoft Word. So first of all, you need to open Microsoft Word. So we can click on the start button. We can click on the all program. You'll get Microsoft Office. If you click that, you get Microsoft Office Word 2007. OK, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So many are there, so many versions. 
so whatever may be you need to click office word either 2007 or 2010 or 2013 so once you have opened you get a blank area that is known as work area here you have to create a table so let me tell you the table options are available here at the top inside the insert tab you get a table options so when you click on the table you get two options again either you can create the table by simply dragging the mouse over the box like this or else you can use insert table options so when you click on the insert table option you get a small box a small dialog box which asks you a question number of columns and number of row so number of columns and number of row let me give you number of column as 3 and number of row as uh, say 6 now if I click on the OK button you can see here we have six row and three column a table has been appeared in a table we can write various numbers various data say example I'm writing here alphabet like A then here I'm just writing B and here C and uh, this side let me write one two three four and five okay now see children let me make this little bit big so I need to click here in the plus sign then I will go to the home tab and I will increase the font okay fine now see children now we will be learning how we can add the row or columns now say suppose here in place of B I just wrote C over here and here I wrote D now see A C D B is missing so when B is missing simply you click here and you can right click over here so when you right click you get a list of sub menu so when you get a list of sub menu there you can see after paste insert option is there and when you click on the insert option you get insert column to the left or column to the right now what you want based on that you can click here this left that side and right if you need then you can simply click here and columns to the right see right side you got now we can easily write here B so A B C D is this clear children? So how we can add the columns in Microsoft Word tabular form that means in a table. In the same way say suppose numbering up to 5 is there I need one more number 6 also I need. Simply right click here you get insert options see row above and row below two options. If you click above it will be above the particular cell which I have clicked and if you click on the below then below that will so let us click on the below options see one additional row came I can number here as 6 so children this is the step how we can add the row as well as add the column in a table now so suppose I don't need a column D not required so anywhere you can click it's not that you have to click here only you can click anywhere any place you can click then you can just right click over here you can click on delete cell uh, options so when you click on delete cell option you will be asked with multiple question shift cell left shift cell up delete entire row delete entire columns so right now we need to delete the entire column so we need to click here tick here delete entire column then press OK button and you will find see now uh, column D disappeared from our table not only single multiple can be also deleted together see here for multiple row I need to delete I need to just simply select it in this way now right click then click on the insert entire row you can see multiple row has been deleted at same time simultaneously together we can delete multiple row as well as multiple column 
so it's very easy very simple we can add the column left side or right side as per as a, our requirement we can add numbers of column as much as we want we can delete the column individually or we can delete the column by selecting the range in the same manner we can add row below or above the particular row or particular cell we can add number of row as many as we want and even we can delete the row when not required we can delete either a single row or we can delete multiple